Hey, what's up everyone? Kabanarani456 here today. Going to be starting a brand new Let's Play on a Nintendo Wii game that has been requested by many of my viewers and fans. So here it is. Sonic and the Secret Rings. So, yes, like I have said, many, and I mean many of people, have requested for me to do this game and LP it on my channel. And today is the day that I finally do that. So, you know, going to be playing through this game. And basically, before I actually do get into this, kind of want to explain how I'm actually going to be doing this playthrough. And uh, give me your opinions in the comments below if you actually like this idea, because uh, it's kind of something different from other LPs of this game. But basically, what I intend to do on this LP is I'm going to show off in this video, like I'm going to start off this game on a new file with the Lost Prologue to just show you how Sonic actually plays out in the beginning when he has no skills or powers or anything like that so that y'all can actually see how Sonic does control in the beginning but then when I go on to uh, like the real stages like Sand Oasis that's when I'm actually going to be using my other save file that has all the skills to where Sonic is faster a lot easier to control and it's just a more enjoyable experience so that is what I'm going to be doing uh, for this LP that's what I thought would be better because so many people do watch these LPs of this game to where people just start on a new save file and the gameplay in my opinion is boring to play through in the beginning when you don't have anything anything unlocked and also it's kind of boring watching in my opinion so that's why I decided I had to actually go this outlet and just um, edit in the cutscenes so let me know in the comments below what you think about that but anyway we're gonna go on and get into this and start it off so I do apologize about the kind of long ram rambling intro right there but that that was just something that I did want to explain because that's what I do intend to do for this LP if you don't like the idea or if you do like the idea of me doing that let me know in the comments below because I just feel that you know for let's play it's supposed to be fun and you know I want my LP to kind of be unique from others to where you know I actually do show some stuff like some different skills in the game that would take usually quite uh, many hours to actually unlock and I do have a save file that has most of the skills unlocked so I decided that I'd go ahead and show off that. But anyway, here's a cutscene.
All right, so that's one of my favorite intros ever in the Sonic series. Just looks absolutely amazing. One of the best CGI cutscenes ever. And in case you all didn't know, one of the uh, first scenes in my intro is actually from that cutscene right there because it's just one of my favorites. Uh, it's really, really epic. But anyway, we're going to go on into the story right here, the adventure mode, to where it says, Take on the quest to save the fading world of the Arabian Nights. And let's see, like I said, uh, going to be starting a new save file just for this first part right here to kind of show you all how the gameplay is with Sonic and, uh, you know, kind of see how slow he actually is. And then the upcoming parts, I'm going to be doing it with uh, Sonic having skills on. So anyway, let's do this and we're going to go into the last prologue right here, basically the tutorial world. I keep getting tongue twisted right now, my bad. But it says here, uh, are you ready? My body is ready, let's go. of the ring you know like aladdin in the magic land don't think i've read that what you've got to be kidding me it's the best story of all the arabian nights or at least the second best but that's besides the point please look at this hey the page is blank <sighs> our world the world of the arabian nights is vanishing Vanishing? But how? This is the work of an incredibly evil spirit. The Eraser Jinn. Eraser Jinn? Yes. He used his evil magic to become even more powerful. He could not bear to simply remain in the book any longer. And so he has begun to set the inscriptions free, absorbing the power of the book itself. The power of the book? If our world ceases to exist, then not only will those stories be silenced forever, but the Eraser Jinn will then be unleashed into your world. That definitely sounds like trouble. But what do you want me to do? I want you to stop him. You must stop the Eraser Jinn. Only you, the Blue Hedgehog, can do it. Hmm. So this guy needs someone to put him in his place, does he? I suppose I can help out with that. It might even be fun. But this is all just something out of a storybook, right? How am I supposed to do anything about that? That's easy. You are my master, having called forth the Genie of the Ring. As such, I am able to grant your wishes. Simple wishes, at any rate. Bringing you into the world of the Arabian Nights is within my power. What? Inside that book? Now please, place the ring on your finger. Like this? Ouch! Hey, take it easy. My apologies, O oh Master. But now the contract has been sealed. Contract? Yes. As Master of the Ring, I am now bound to protect you. Now, rub the ring. Like... like this? Oh, Master of the Ring, what is thy wish? Hut two! Hut two! How about a handkerchief for starters? Make that a few. Thanks. You're a lifesaver. You see, I caught this cold yesterday and... Please, be serious. Okay, okay. Thanks for the hankies, though. Oh, please. Someone tell me that this isn't really happening. All right. Let's go. Take me to this world of the Arabian Nights. As you wish, Master. Quit it, will you? 
My name's Sonic. Sonic the Hedgehog. Very well then, Sonic. The legendary hedgehog. Here we go, into the world of the Arabian Nights. Okay. Now this is first class. Here we go. All right, so that was the first cutscene in this game, kind of showing you all about the story and all. And I must say, I actually really, really do like the uh, cutscene style of the game. But uh, anyway, right here we have Shara kind of explaining the controls to us. So with this game, um, Sonic's controls are very interesting to where Sonic basically moves automatically to where you have no control of his forward movement whatsoever. You just basically tilt the Wii Remote, hold it on its side and t tilt it left and right in order to control Sonic right here. And if you want to break or anything like that, you just press the one button to do that. And if you want to jump, you can uh, hold the two button to do a jump. So, kind of interesting. There's been a lot of controversy with this game about the controls. And I have to admit, they're not the best. But uh, I, I do enjoy this game. Um, it's not one of my favorites in the series. But once you get all those skills, it makes it so much easier to control Sonic. And it's just a lot more enjoyable to actually play this game. Which is why I actually am doing my LP like that, to where I'm going to be playing with the skills, kind of like my Sonic Generations playthrough. Well, let's see, we're going to go on to Mission 2 right here, and it's going to teach us how to use a charge jump. But yeah, basically these stages, they're just kind of tutorials, and you know, you can replay them over again later, when you have more skills, to where you can actually get gold medals and stuff, which is kind of cool. So yeah, see right here, just kind of telling us how to do the uh, charge jump right there. You can do the homing attack if you do the uh, quick flick of the uh, Wii Remote in the forward direction. So, make sure to take advantage of that. And let's see right here. We are almost done here. Just gonna have to go over these steps. And there we go. Goal. So, not really too much to say about this because, I mean, it's pretty easy to get the controls down pat. But I, you know, just thought that I should cover this, especially since it is mandatory. There we go. And another cool thing about this game is that this is a Sonic game that actually had a bit of like an RPG element to the game. To where if you keep on collecting experience, that's how you can actually unlock extra skills and equip more skills into uh, Sonic's repertoire of moves. Which can help them get through the stages faster and... Yeah, so that was another thing I really did like about this game when it first came out because it added a lot more replay value and a lot more variety to this game because when I actually did play this game originally when I first got it, I put probably about, let's see, a few weeks into this game actually because it was one of the only Wii games I actually owned when I was younger, so I would play this game all the time even though it did frustrate me in some areas with the controls. You know, since it was like one of the only games I had for the Wii, you know, I enjoyed playing what I had, so... But anyway, I don't even know what the whole goal was right there, but... Managed to make it through that. Got ourselves another bronze medal right there. But let me know in the comments below what you think about this game. If you had a lot of problems with the controls in the past, I know many people probably did, but... You know, once you kind of get used to it, it, it can be very, very easy to control them. So, let's see, we did that. So now we're going to go on to um, paragraph 4 right here, and we have to defeat 10 enemies. So let's see right here what exactly we have to do. But yeah, also, another thing about this game, this was actually the first game to start off the storybook series in the Sonic the Hedgehog series. Alright. Okay. So what we're supposed to do right here is when you see the red marker, you flick the Wii Remote forward, and that way you can do a homing attack on an enemy. See right there, look at that. And then you can chain it if uh, you keep on, you know, flicking the Wii Remote forward at the right time. See right there? Look at that. Very nicely done. Alright, keep on going attacking these guys. Alright, I think we're supposed to run into two more right here. Here we go, skadoosh! And there we go. Nice. Completed the mission. Just made it. No 
But yeah, as I was saying, this is uh, the first installment of the Sonic the Hedgehog storybook series, and you know, some people kind of you know have arguments over whether this game was better than Sonic and the Black Knight. Personally, I like the controls better in Sonic and the Black Knight, but I do have to say that sometimes I do prefer this game over uh, Sonic and the Black Knight, but anyway, now we're going to go on to Mission 5 here. Plus, I really do like the story in this game a lot more, where, you know, it's, it's kind of more Arabian, and I do really, really like the music a lot in these stages, like, really did an excellent job. Let's see what you do. In case you all didn't recognize that, I mean, because I obviously did add for my intro theme a uh, song in the Secret Ring song, so definitely did like it in some way. Oh gosh! Okay, stop right here. Break, because if you hit that, you will die, and you will start over, and it's not fun at all. So, also this is a good tutorial right here to kind of teach you how to break with Sonic, to where you just basically hold the one button, and that lets Sonic go to a halt. Alright, so we are coming close to, uh, you know, kind of going up in our experience. And the maximum you can actually go with Sonic is level 99. The furthest I've ever gone before in the past is level 76, I believe. So I didn't get everything, but I did beat all the stages in the game. But it's just that, uh... I lost my old save file actually, so I kind of had to find one online, and while it isn't as high of a level as I used to have it before, it does have most of the moves I actually used. Anyway, now we're going to go on right here, so basically this kind of teaches you how to do the controls to where you make Sonic walk backwards. So basically what you're supposed to do is tilt the Wii Remote towards you, like twist it, and that is how you make Sonic walk backwards. It's really a uh, backwards, huh? No pun intended. Really backwards kind of way of uh, you know doing this game, like going backwards in the game. But eh, I mean, like I said, this game has some pretty unorthodox controls for the Sonic series, so it's not like you know everything's going to be perfect. Anyway, let's see. Now I gotta do paragraph seven. And I'm not sure how many missions we have to actually do until we finish what we what is mandatory in this prologue right here. Two, one, one. Scroosh! Oh wait, no, we're slow. <laughs> All right. Okay, so yes, you can tap the two button right here really quickly and uh, you know, nice succession to do small jumps. And uh, this just lets Sonic kind of like do a nice little skip. I've seen it a lot in uh, other Sonic games, like, you know, Sonic Unleashed, um, Sonic Generations, to where Sonic will just do a little small hop over little obstacles. It's very handy. And we got- wow, we actually got a silver medal for that, dang! I didn't even try to, do, like, get a silver medal right there. It's really hard to actually get a silver medal in these missions, but anyway, got another new mission unlocked. And I'm guessing we have to do this one right here. This is the final paragraph, and then uh, we'll level up and we'll get the cutscene. Alright, so now we're basically getting introduced right here to grinding, to where for some reason I automatically got hopped onto that right there. Basically, in order to switch rails, you just basically tilt the Wii Remote to the side, and see right there, look at that. It's really hard to control though, like these controls are very, very imprecise for grinding, so do not rely on grinding in any way. But grinding does give you more points, so that is one benefit of it. There we go, finish that mission, and we should level up right now. Look at that. Pretty sick. So yeah, like I said, the more you level up, the more skill points you get, and that way you can equip rings. Here right here, got a new skill, which basically lets us add additional rings to uh, the counter at the game start. And, since we've completed all that is mandatory, in Sand Oasis, a new world has been unlocked, and that's, uh, yeah, Sand Oasis. Uh, did I? I actually just said, since we complete Sand Oasis, I meant the Lost Prologue. 
Okay, so who's this guy who's trying to make the world disappear again? You mean the Eraser Jin? Yeah, that's right. Can you take me to him? There is no need. What do you mean? He's here! Oh, she's here! What's that all about? Talk about close shaves. Maybe you know where I can get my quill sharpened too? Sonic, that's him. He's the evil spirit who is striking the words of our world from the pages. You. You must be that blue rat that just got added to the story. Don't you know anything? I'm not a rat. I'm a hedgehog. <laughs> I am a razor Jin. I am the one who shall carve up this world as I see fit. Yeah, well, if you're gonna do that, can you at least wait until I'm done reading it first? Sonic? One hundred of the one thousand and one nights have already been wiped clean. And soon, the rest shall join them, night by night. And then, with the Seven World Rings? Seven World Rings? You have gathered the Seven World Rings for me. Have you not, Shara, my dear? Are you still going on about that? I told you those things don't even exist. And even if they did, I'd never give them to you. Oh, wouldn't you, though? I suppose a suitable punishment is in order, then. Look out! Sonic! Aha! <laughs> so, this is how judgment is dealt, is it? Hmm. This should be interesting. You listening? Bring me the seven world rings before the arrow of flame extinguishes. You do not. Huh? Your life is forfeit. Next, Next, I think I, think I, shall, I shall collect the life of King Sharia. <laughs> the king is the creator of the Arabian Nights and the main character of the story. With my speed, we'll just have to make sure we get to him first. All right, so basically got introduced to the uh, main villain of the game, and that is the Eraser Jin, kind of a play on how he has a razor sword, and since he is a genie spirit. But anyway, that does it for this video, so thank you all so much for watching. Please remember to comment, like, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more vids, walkthroughs, and updates. Hope you all enjoyed the video, and like I said, let me know in the comments below what you think about my idea, because who knows if more people are like, I want you to start a new save file, or something like that. I may change my mind, but to be honest, I just prefer the way that I'm going to actually do my LP currently right now that I've kind of planned. But uh, one thing I will definitely be doing um, in the later parts is kind of getting into my opinions on the story and digging into that, which is something I couldn't do as much in this video because I was kind of trying to focus on the gameplay and explain that. But uh, anyway, I hope you did enjoy this video, and like I said, if you did, please make sure to leave a like and a comment. It really helps out a ton. But anyway, enough of my rambling. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed it, hope you all are excited for this LP as much as I am, and next time we will be going to the next world, and that is Sand Oasis. So until next time, see you all, have a good day. Peace, Kobanamite.